People don't like Sakura for a variety of reasons, whether it be for her personality, her wasted potential, or maybe something else entirely. The only character that can generate more scorn in an art of fandom is Donzo. But what if Sakura didn't have her struggles at the beginning of the series due to having a pretty strong bloodline? That question will be answered in this story. Yeah, soldiers, it's your boy the MSCs coming to you for another video, and this is what if Sakura was a Senju. So, for this series, I'm going to be again making another series that features a character other than Naruto. This one being a character that could probably use a lot of help. Particularly in part with Naruto, she does improve in Shippuden and is really, really good in Boruto, in my opinion. And I ain't just saying that because she looks like a nice uh, waifu. Anyways, before we get into this story, let's get to the usual stuff. First off, be prepared for other videos such as Uzumaki Tales Return to the Whirlpool, chapters 10 through 12, which will be coming very, very soon, and some more videos that are going to be coming this week and next week as well. Make sure you watch my Kimi Tabaka Hawk for updates on this what if and other what ifs in particular, or other series or other video ideas I have on the back burner. And to conclude the usual checklist, follow me on Twitter, AmiSH4, Instagram, Amy underscore stage 4, and join me on Instagram, sir, all of which are in the description. I will give all reasons to follow slash join those social medias at the end of the video, so watch until the end. Follow me on Twitch because I stream over there, and also donate to my Patreon, which, you know, support is as low as $1. And if you have any fanfics you want me to read, be it Naruto, MHA, DBZ, One Piece, or something else, comment down the name of the fanfic in, well, the YouTube comment section. Since it's a new series, we can jump into the story, so let's get into, well, the story. Alright, so obviously the first thing we got to do is figure out how to make Sakura a Senju. Well, that is actually very easy, as Sakura's parents were never really anything that special. And we never really got a lot of background on them, so we can just do a little bit of rewriting of history, or to more exact, filling in some blank history with our own headcanon. Now, you all know my philosophy when it comes to giving someone Senju DNA. Not the traditional way, especially since I don't have a girlfriend, but for writing it in, and that is to give said character wood release. I do not care what people say about this, she's gonna get it. Though if you want me to do a video explaining wood release and debunking common headcanon about it, let me know in the comments below because at this point, the misinformation about wood release is driving me nuts, especially since I still see that misinformation in my comment section in my half Uchiha, half Senju series. So again, let me know if you want that video. Please, I beg you. Anyways, now we see Sakura as the last of the Senju clan, along for parents, and Tsunade, who was MIA, and being the legendary sucker that she is. Mm-hmm. Now we will see Sakura relatively grow up like royalty, since she's the last of the great Senju clan, and she will be able to learn some of the basics of her Keke Genkai. Now, there's going to be another effect in the timeline, and that involves Naruto and Sasuke. By the time Naruto is in the Academy, Sakura will actually present herself as a friend to Naruto. And that will make Naruto pretty happy as 1. He finally has a friend, and 2. That friend is someone he kinda likes. Now, you might be wondering how this would work, as Sakura in the original canon was not necessarily a fan of Naruto. Well, one, called the Uzumaki and Senju connection, as Naruto is part Uzumaki, and Sakura is a Senju. And two, I think if Sakura is raised in an environment under the Senju clan, she might have more of a sense to be kind to others, mostly because she wants to be like Hashirama, and Naruto in the original canon was a decent enough person to Sakura, so I think a friendship would develop here. Now, you might ask, would Sakura's parents approve of this friendship? And I would say yes, and in fact, they would know Naruto is Kashina's child, as Kashina would be friends with Sakura's mother. You might say this is a bit unrealistic, but remember, Sakura's parents are Senju, and they might want to be friends with their distant cousin, and it is not like this has not happened for Naruto, as Makoto was friends with Kashina. So why not Sakura's parents in this new canon, especially since there is not a lot of background on them besides, I guess, a movie, I think? Another big effect is that Sakura is more of a rival to Sasuke. Sakura will admit that Sasuke is a good looking dude, but Sasuke is an Uchiha, and Senju and Uchiha's are natural rivals. Might have something to do with two brothers, I don't know. However, on the first day of the academy, Sakura will say to Sasuke, 
You better watch your back, Uchiha, because I will beat a stronger ninja by the time we graduate. And Sasuke will say, bring it on, Senju. And there will be a natural rivalry between the two for the next four years, each one competing for Rookie of the Year. Time for question of the day, and today you might get to answer two in one video depending on how you answer the first one. Who do you hate more, Don's or Sakura? And the second part of the question is, if you answer Sakura, how would you improve her character? The reason why I am only applying this to Sakura is because Donzo is meant to be hated. That's the point of him. While Sakura is more of a case of missteps by Kishimoto in my opinion. Let me know your answers in the comments below. And heck, you can even answer both questions even if you answer Donzo. I really don't care. Anyway, Sakura actually wanted to help Naruto with his struggles at the academy. So Sakura allows Naruto to train at the Senshu compound. Where Naruto will eventually be able to learn the Shadow Clone Jutsu due to Sakura's mother and father having a brain, or I guess brains, and thinking that if Naruto can't use a Clone Jutsu, which could be a consequence of the Nine Tails, maybe it would be better to have him learn the Shadow Clone Jutsu, and Naruto will pick it up pretty easily. Naruto will continue to train at Senju Compound for the next four years, and slowly both Naruto and Sakura get closer and closer together, and Naruto sees Sakura's parents as parental figures that he has never really had before. Now, I know people might be weirded out a bit because it seems like I'm going with a Sakura and Naruto ship, however there have been so many shifts in Sakura's personality that I think can actually work. It's the same concept where I pair Hinata with Sasuke in some of my series because Sasuke has major changes to his canon personality. Sakura has had those changes due to her background and the Senju and Uzumaki connection, and more so her wants become like Hashirama. This might also violate my distant cousin rule, but at least the last names are different and both clans have access to different abilities, so I feel a bit more comfortable here. Unlike situations where Naruto is a Hyuga and I do not want to pair up Hinata with Naruto in the situation because, well, she's a Hyuga. Anyways, Naruto will be able to get stronger over the years through the training he receives from Sakura's parents and some sparring sessions with Sakura. Now, what will Naruto acquire in addition to Shaokun Jutsu? Because you all know me very well that I would not give Naruto just a Shaokun Jutsu in a four year time period. Well, the Senju clan isn't very well versed in wind ninjutsu, however they are versed in earth and water ninjutsu, with Naruto learning some war ninjutsu jutsus, I guess how you would say that. <laughs> Anyways, Naruto before he graduates will acquire the water bullet jutsu. And that's about it. I don't want to go too crazy on Jutsu's Naruto will acquire since he is not even using a nature transformation that matches his chakra nature. Water is a good comment to win, but again, it ain't his chakra nature. Sagra also started getting lessons for water release techniques by a familiar person we all know and love, Yamato. She will learn a couple techniques including the famous wooden pole technique. And Sakura sure is gonna swing around her wooden pole against any enemy. Yep, she's gonna love swinging that wooden pole around. Meanwhile, Hiroshi takes note of Naruto's progress over the years and will make the decision to tell Naruto about the fox after he graduates from the academy. The day of the graduation test arrives and Naruto is ready for it this time, so he walks inside that room with Iruka and Mizuki, uses the Shadow Clone Jutsu, and passes the graduation test. Essentially, not really doing anything like Luigi. Look, no disrespect to Naruto at all, this is more a criticism of the old graduation test because there is no way you can tell me all you had to do to be able to pass the graduation test was to do the clone jutsu. Thank god Kakashi stepped in to make sure this would never be a thing in Boruto. Objectively one of the best things Kakashi has ever done. Changing the graduation test. Anyways, Sakura will congratulate Naruto and both will go out and celebrate with some ramen. Meanwhile, Mizuki will try and fail to seal the scroll because again, he is the Detroit Lions of Naruto. Hiruzen will then have a meme with Naruto a couple days after he graduates and he will tell him about being the Nine Tails in Turkey and Naruto will accept being, well, the Nine Tails in Turkey and is glad he at least knows why he experienced glares as a child. Naruto will meet up with Sakura, and both of them will sit and wait for teams that are going to be formed on Team Selection Day. It turns out the same teams are going to be formed as in the original canon, as Sasuke, Sakura, and Naruto will be on Team 7. 
If you assume that I kept the original Team 7 because Sakura is a Senju, and I wanted Inuzumaki and Uchiha reunite with the Senju, thereby putting all the sins of Indra and Ashura on one team, you would be correct. All of them will be paired with Kakashi, and we'll now go to Team Introductions, where Naruto will have around the same goals as Kanan, as well as Sasuke, but Sakura's Team Introduction is very different. Instead of giggling like a fangirl, she says she wants to be a Kunoichi Wari of the Senju Clan and to be as strong as Hashirama was. Kakashi is impressed with Sakura as well as everyone who is watching this video because of how different Sakura is in his canon. The bell test will actually go relatively the same with everyone putting up a fight, but they still don't work together. Well, Sasuke doesn't, but Sakura and Naruto do work together, but Sasuke is too busy being emo. Sasuke will be the one tied up because he didn't work with Naruto and Sakura, and both Naruto and Sakura are nice enough to give him food, and Sasuke will accept it because as much as he does not like receiving help from others, he is hungry, and it would only hurt their chances at retaking the test if he is hungry. Kakashi then passes everyone, and Team 7 is formed, with a much more powerful Sakura and Naruto. Naruto will ask Sakura if she wants to go out for Ram to celebrate, and Sakura will say yes. They invite Sasuke, but he decides to be emo at first, and they take off without him. Sasuke then thinks about it a bit more and says, Wait up! And will actually take them up on that offer. Now, I am going to end off this video with you guys giving me arc ideas. I will still be doing the Land of Waves arc, but I want to do an arc that occurs between the two month gap of the tuning exams and the Land of Waves. Best arc idea will be integrated into the What If, plus a shout out to the person who created it. Give me your ideas in the comments below. Thank you all for watching part one of What If Soccer Was a Senju. I definitely am going to be interested to hear the responses to this series because I don't think a lot of people would have expected this series out of me, but here we are. Now, I also, again, acknowledge that people might be a bit annoyed with a lot of the newer projects that are coming to the channel, and I kind of will understand that. However, again, these are video ideas that I had on the docket in September, but again, I had my grandparents' celebration, so I had to move them to October. And I think if I'm able to get more videos out at a consistent rate due to the fact that I have an editor and multiple thumbnail workers on my team, it is very, very possible that I can work on a lot of series at once and finish them very, very quickly without really having to worry about potential month gaps where I don't really upload a single video on a certain series. And I also will look to complete certain series that I do want to finish. Anyways, if you have any fanfics you want me to read, again, leave the name of it in the comments. Watch my community tab like a hawk, that's important if you want updates on certain series or if you just want to see memes that are pretty funny on my community tab. And finally, follow me on Twitter for a another way to get notified of my videos, Instagram for memes and, well, just memes and the occasional DM answer, and again, join my Discord server for access to my community. And that's about it for that. Again, just follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and join my Discord server. Shout out to my 10R patrons, their names are on screen, my federal patron Anguish, and my federal patron Neshu. If you want to support me further and get worse show shouts like these, go to my Patreon, which is linked in the description. Support is as low as $1. And finally, let's get to 52k, and eventually 60k, 70k, 80k, 90k, and 100k. Alright, that's all I have to say. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications, and share the video. This has been your boy, the Anime Sage. Sign out, peace, yorha. Sunny Shea closes out, Bye bye peace.